What if the fuel to power our world could be made anywhere? What if the fuel to power our world could be made from water and electricity? And what if that fuel created no harmful emissions? At Washington State University, we believe that fuel is hydrogen. Hydrogen has the highest energy potential of any element or fuel. It's about 2.7 times more energy per weight than conventional gasoline. Our challenge really as humanity is figuring out how to master the storage and use of that hydrogen. Hydrogen can be made from completely green renewable resources like wind, solar, and water. And if we really want to decarbonize our energy infrastructure and become a greener society, hydrogen has a major role to play in that. Researchers from WSU and a startup company named Proteum have developed a fuel tank that can make hydrogen more accessible as an everyday fuel source, fueling vehicles, factories, even homes. One of the first objectives that we had to accomplish was to build a very lightweight tank. 3D printing enables you to print any kind of shape very cheaply. There's five shells, and as we nest the shells together, uh, that creates gaps, which naturally creates what we call a vapor channel. So it's a very efficient heat exchanger design. We print uh, the five sections and then we build it from the inside out. WSU is driving innovation forward, but needs help creating a market for their products. Proteum's collaboration with WSU will help move the fuel tank from theory to reality. The Proteum company makes liquid hydrogen storage and infrastructure technologies in order to bring hydrogen as a fuel to the electric vehicle space. A key factor pushing the project forward is the Bayh-Dole Act. Bayh-Dole uniformly permits organizations and small business firm contractors to retain ownership of inventions made under contract with the federal government. The Bayh-Dole Act is important because it allows the intellectual property that WSU creates to be able to go out into the world. The Bayh-Dole Act is, is essential to really take the technology from something in a lab to something that provides benefits to the American people. In July of 2020, teams from WSU's Hyperlab, Proteum, and in situ came together in Pullman to test both the design of the 3D printed fuel tank and WSU's portable hydrogen generation station. What we demonstrated earlier this summer was we built within a shipping container, a hydrogen system that could take water and electricity create hydrogen in an electrolyzer, it could then cool that hydrogen and liquefy it within that container. And then we could then transfer that to a 3D printed, the first 3D printed fuel tank, and then take that fuel in that fuel tank and run the fuel cell. Not only did we do that once, but we were able to repeat the process for them just to show that we can do it over and over again. The next challenge for the team comes in the summer of 2021, a commercial drone flight powered with hydrogen created and delivered by WSU and Proteum. We need to prove that this technology works in the field. That means we need to be able to generate our liquid hydrogen, fill a tank, and fly a drone with our liquid hydrogen tank. Succeeding on a project of this scale, I, I don't think we could have done it anywhere besides here at uh, Washington State University. Washington's long-standing history with aerospace. This is the best place on the planet for this kind of research.